Egan. I know you're a Blues fan. Yes. So is my husband. But I'm excited for the Mavericks. Hey, the, the, the Mavericks, they're yeah. still yeah, in it. We're getting some good oh, hockey yeah. right now. Yeah. The great season for them. So hopefully they can just keep that going. Absolutely. And, uh, it's, it's exciting. It is. Our, our weather today, it's exciting that it was a little bit calmer. Because oh, wow. yesterday's weather was exciting, but not for great reasons because it was just so windy. Now we do have some more weather coming in tonight as far as thunderstorms and possibly some severe storms. So here's what to know late this evening, primarily after 10 or 11 into the early overnight hours, some scattered thunderstorms are going to develop. And if those storms can fire, large hail will be the main threat then. That's going to be round number one. Round number two is going to push in a little bit closer to sunrise tomorrow. That'll be more so a line of storms and strong wind gusts and possibly some embedded small hail. That'll be uh, the main threats we'll have to watch for with that next batch. So again, we're monitoring for potentially two rounds of showers and thunderstorms starting late this evening and then the overnight, then again going through our morning hours tomorrow. Outside at the moment, it's beautiful. We have the sunshine. It's not too windy. We're at 76 degrees. Humidity is at 35%. So it's just an awesome Wednesday afternoon. We're at 77 in Parkville, 76 for Olathe, 79 for Overland Park in Grandview, 80 degrees for DeSoto, 80 in Lawrence, 82 for Ottawa, 73 in Chillicothe. As far as our sky conditions, things are for the most part pretty clear. So no rain or thunderstorms nearby. We are monitoring that next storm system. It's hanging out to well off to our west, moving out of Colorado into western parts of Kansas. That system is going to eventually bring some energy for thunderstorms to develop along that warm front. You see that that red line that's going to lift northward in this area that I've circled. That's where storms will eventually fire late this evening into tonight. That's also the area that we're monitoring for severe storms to develop later on this evening and could see some redevelopment into the morning tomorrow. So for your evening plans, next several hours are fine. Temperatures are going to be in the 70s. Try and get outside. Enjoy it if you can. We might start to see a few storms around 10 PM. A little bit of a better chance getting closer to midnight, and that's why you see that weather impact there as those storms at that point could start to turn severe. Future scan, it picks up on that. So the early evening looks great, but then Here's 11 p.m. Those that's that first one we're going to be watching for. Those are the storms that we'll be monitoring for that larger hail between about 11 p.m. and about three o'clock in the morning. Then here comes round number two that comes rolling down closer to the metro between about seven to nine o'clock in the morning. There might be some small hail in this line. Could be a few stronger wind gusts, so just keep that in mind for tomorrow morning's commute. Lingering lighter rain, that's going to last through about 1 or 2 in the afternoon. And you see all those blue arrows there? We'll have a chillier north breeze. So you'll need your umbrella in the morning. Or we'll be watching for some stronger gusts early. Weather impact through about 1 o'clock. Notice your temperatures here. They don't really move at all. In fact, it might be warmer earlier in the morning before that uh, second round of thunderstorms moves in. So we're going to kind of hang out near 57 degrees for most of the day. Could be a little cooler around lunchtime. Then on Friday and Saturday, lingering clouds for both of those days. Highs will be in the middle to upper 50s. So that cooler weather, it's going to stick around once it rolls in tonight and lasts all the way through the weekend. We do start to warm up next week. We'll see another chance of showers and storms late Monday, and then highs will be back near 70 degrees. Another chance of rain on Thursday of next week.